Hey everyone, it's Lena here. Okay, so today I'm making a video um, about just leaps of faith. You know, if you really want something in life and it means that much to you and you are tired of doing the same thing over and over again, not making progress, not getting anywhere, not having the lifestyle or the means or the happiness that you want, it's time to do something different. It's time to achieve other goals that you have not tried before and achieve them different ways. So I am not an expert life coach. I wish I was because I um, have been trying to do a lot of different stuff throughout my lifetime and have not succeeded in all of them. But some things here and there, I'm like, oh, I really like doing that, but is the money worth it? Or I'm like, oh yeah, I'm getting paid a lot, you know, for this thing, but I don't really like the job. I don't really like what I'm doing. So what I want to start doing is living out my passions and my hobbies that I adore. The things that I am really good at doing, um, things that I in the past would have been like, oh, well, this is too much for me. You know, only, only celebrities or only, you know, special people or certain people can do this. But no, 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 no. Everybody can do anything that they want. You just have to put your mind to it. And tell yourself, keep on telling yourself that anything is possible. You know, I want to gain, I want to gain some more weight. Well, first I want to get this little guy <laughs> to, to, um, <laughs> to, uh, behave. <laughs> but, um. I, I have a lot of dreams and goals and things that I want to pursue that I've been wanting to pursue my whole life, but then I get stuck in this bubble where I say, okay, I want to, I want to become a dancer. I want to become a singer. Those have been two passions in my life throughout my whole life that I have beat myself about because it makes me so happy when I sing and dance and I want to show that off to the world. And it's a great workout. It's a great, uh, you know, mentality exercise. You get to just be free and let your mind go and, you know, be creative and all of that. And I've always loved making up my own songs, singing and making up my own dance moves. And, um, and so why not? Why not do what you want to do? So now that I have my own place, I can finally dance and sing and do my passions and live out my dreams without any interruptions. And that's exactly what I want to do. And that's what I think everybody should be doing. So if you have a passion like painting, let's say you work on cars, um, you do tattoos, you, you clean, anything. I love cleaning too. It's awesome. But you do anything, you know, child care, anything that you are passionate and happy about that makes your heart feel good because that's all we need. We don't want to be working the nine to five jobs where we're just like, oh, we're waiting on this like small paycheck that never even pays the bills and we have to listen to somebody else. I have a huge problem with that. I'm sorry. But that's why I did not join the military because I cannot listen to somebody yelling at me and be like, give me 20. Like, no, don't tell me what to do. Like, I want to tell everybody else to live their own life and do what they want to do. Because being under somebody and having somebody tell you what to do is kind of draining. And it makes you feel like you cannot rise up to your full potential. And when you want to be up here and you're down here, barely making anything unhappy, you're just like, oh, I want to quit this job. Is there anything better? But then you go to the next job and it's the same thing, just maybe with a little bit more money and maybe like with different work. 
So how many times, how many years are you going to continue in that circle where you're working for somebody else and you're never making the right amount of money that you want to be making on your own schedule? <clears throat> so that's why I've been trying to influence and find other ways where you can let your passions and your gifts be your job, be your life. You know, you you have something that you want the world to see. Girl, boy, let them see that, okay? Because you never know. Your creativity, your passion can drive and go crazy in a matter of like minutes, weeks, months, you know, whatever. It's just what you want to put into your work. So with all your hobbies, so what I would do is I would write on a piece of paper your passions, your hobbies, things that you want to do. Be like, I love painting, I love dancing, I love going fishing, I love, you know, getting out, getting out in nature, I love fixing cars. Write those down, anything that makes you happy that you want to do all the time if you could make an income just like that from what you love to do write those down and put it in a list put in a piece of paper write down as many as you can and you will automatically feel like just writing those passions and those things down will guide you, will give you a goal and a block on how to make those steps happen. Because I've been doing this for a while and when when my life is chaotic and crazy, which it always is, <laughs> I feel like um, I hardly can, you know, even get a moment sometimes to myself or at all. Um, with work, taking care of the little one, cleaning, getting my life situated, taking care of me, which I have not always been good at. I want to take care of everybody else, everything else. And that leaves me tired and my mindset is different. I'm just like, well, I'm never going to achieve these things because I'm so worn out. I'm not like looking at the brighter side of things. It's also your mindset. You have to clear your mindset and tell yourself that I will, I will achieve my goals and my dreams. I am going to be successful no matter what. I am powerful, strong, amazing. And you have to tell yourself these affirmations multiple times a day. Whenever you want, in your head, you can write them down, all of that. Just say it. And just keep on telling yourself and writing your passions and your dreams down on the paper. And in a matter of time, they will come true. So when you're, <clears throat> so after you're done writing them on the paper and saying them and stuff, meditation is another amazing one. I like to meditate at night when he's sleeping and I get that peace and quiet because I'm not a morning person. I'm trying to be a morning person. That's on my list, but I'm not a morning person yet. <laughs> so um, when I get that whole morning person, I'm awake, I'm awake at seven in the morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know. No, but um, just meditating and being at peace with yourself and your mind and knowing exactly the next steps to take and where to go from there and how to handle things in your own way. So if you are stressed and angry and sad and frustrated, put that, put all those emotions onto that piece of paper and let it go and be like, I don't want to feel like this, you know? I need an outlet and do your passions. Do what makes you happy so that will be your outlet while you write that negativity feeling 
on the piece of paper and let it go. And it helps so much. It helps me so much. And I am hoping that it helps everybody else so much because when there's a lot of stuff going on, especially um, in today's world, it, you can get caught up super easily and that's where depression, anxiety, all of these things come into play. And you don't want to do anything and then the doctors want to give you all these meds that make you drowsy and even worse. So if you can do everything, all of your passions free and on your own time and at your own pace and make it more personal, that is exactly what I want everybody to do. Because I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, you know, you need to spend all of this money and do all this crazy stuff. No, all you need is a piece of paper, your mind, and like a little bit of free time. And you don't even need a lot, little bit of free time if you don't have it, but just be aware of the life that you want to live. Already start living the life that you want to live. So if you want to have all these nice things, be able to go on these trips, act like you already own that. Because that will attract everything around you to supplement those things that you do not have and bring it into your life. Law of Attraction. Look it up, study it, practice it, and it will come to you. Law of Attraction is what I've been introducing to my life and it is amazing like how things change in your life and how... That gravitational pull pulls the things that you want in life towards you. So I will, I will start small. I will be like, I want to get new furniture or something. Or I want to start planting. Or I want to go outside more. I want to, you know, start doing little things. Not, not big, huge things. Because you can't expect to do the big, huge. I want... A Maserati I want a mansion right now like no that's not possible for anybody unless you're like a celebrity and you just spend your money wherever no but <clears throat> you will get there it's just a matter of time and how you put your mind to how you want to work and how everything will play out in your life so I'm gonna leave it at that do some meditation write down your feelings write down your hopes and dreams and organize your brain, organize your life, organize every aspect, and declutter stuff. Because the more <clears throat> the more cluttered your house and your brain is, the more cluttered everything in your life will be. So if you say, I have a clear goal on what I want and how to get it, you will get that clear goal and exactly how you want to get it. So... Thank you so much for listening. I will be talking to you guys later about I don't know what, but something else inspirational. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Bye.